Hey guys, Merrick Gaming here, and I'm on VTD6 right now. I would like to show you a new glitch that I discovered myself. It has to do with the new map called Flooded Valley and Pat Fusty. So what you do is you can go into the Flooded Valley map. Doesn't matter if you do it easy, medium, hard, or sand. I'm just going. I'm just going in sandbox. That way I can just show you really quick. So what you do is. So anything you put over here will be, so the, hold on. first there is a little secret thing. You click over here by this like this little hatch right there, click the button, another hatch over here, the orange, the yellow thing, you click that. Fast enough, then that big button will appear. It, it says, you, and you click on it, it says remove for $5,000. What that does is, you can see right now, it will sell all your towers in there and flood it. But... Since Pat Fusty is a water tower, actually, and a land tower, if you do this, put it over there, there we go, get that, it's kind of annoying, you have to click on it like five times, he will actually stay in the same spot, and only you can see like part of his head and a little bit of his tap, top hat, he's glitched under the water, and this is actually pretty cool, because if you want to use him instead of the new, uh, like, hero, and you don't have it or something, you can place stuff over him. Which means that you can use his ability, look, there we go, and all of the things that are around it, and that one's on range, will get the ability, and he can still level up. That's pretty much, it. That's pretty much what it is. So you can pretty much just, it's like... Like it's, it's like a, another space you can put the hero if you don't have the other hero. Up oh, for the rest of the video, we're going to showcase the new Admiral Brickle. Or Brickle, I don't know, I didn't pronounce it. And let's, you know, let's go on. Oh, that's not it. Oops. Let's go on. Where's the new map? There it is. The new map. I'm just going to do it in easy mode because. I've already completed medium and hard off camera. Let's put it right there. Just start it really quick. There we go. It's kind of annoying though, because I have a free dart monkey, right? You can't use it anywhere that would it would hit the track. Because if you look, all of it's red. If you use a sniper, it's all red. But if, you can use it here on a rock, which is pretty cool. So you can fit like an airplane up there. When I'm getting rid of the water, huh, what do I want to use? Oh, I lost some lives on accident. It's a good thing I have a mana shield. But um, I guess I'll use a helicopter. And right, you can see right here, you can throw it right there. That way, if you do not get in the water, you can keep it because it won't get rid of that. Pretty cool Easter egg type thing that is hidden there. I don't know if it comes out with any achievements or anything if we do it, but. I mean, you never know. Maybe one day we'll find the some Easter eggs. I'm gonna buy some. I'm saving up for the quad darts. Oh yeah, they also changed the helicopter for um, the bottom path. You can see it's faster darts now, instead of the actual faster firing. They switched them up, so they got the useless upgrade first, instead of the actual good upgrade. Which, I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. There we go. Um, yeah, let's get a sub. What I like to do when I'm on this map is I like to put a... Hold on. Let me use a free monkey. So I like putting one Energizer sub here and the other one here. Not Energizer. The, what is it called? Bloom, the reactor. Right there and right there. That way I can get that easy camo detection, and it just melts the balloons that are there. The one over here. There we go. Come on. I'm still going to go to round 100, even though it's on easy mode, because I need the, I want the free tower. I don't need it, but it's pretty cool to get free towers. Actually, I might start farming. Yeah, I don't need 
the thing. There we go. Also in the update, they added some more monkey knowledge. They made it so for the boomerang, you can switch its hand from left to right. Or right back to left. Right to left to right. Yeah. So you can switch the hand that it throws from. But I don't have that monkey knowledge unlocked yet. But the other knowledge is actually really, really broken. Like It's dumb OP. It's, you can, on the bank, you can deposit money. Which means you can put money into the bank, and the next round it'll gain more interest, right? So if I add in ten grand, or actually you can't, but if I add in like five thousand, and then take out the money after it takes interest, and then keep doing that, it'll make money so much faster than your regular. So it's just so overpowered. Oops. Oh, I might actually need more defense. I need to stop trying to be greedy. Come on. Um, get the air burst. Hopefully this guy can take out the lead balloons. Get that. Um, pretty good he can. Well, I guess I'm going to keep greeting. Make another farm. Get that. I know this that my farm placement is gonna be much better, but it doesn't really matter that much. Get that. Use the ability to take there we go. Round thirty-two. Almost there. Go get the banana plantation, get the long life, and let's get the valuable. Um, well, I do not have good Moab pow thing power yet. I need to get that. Oh, let's get another thing right here. I don't know if this will actually be enough to kill the Moab. Coming in a couple rounds. Alright, get longer range and then advanced intel. Get twin guns. Use the ability really quick. There we go. Oh, great. I, le I left the stupid. Where that thing is called? A lead. Um, get a triple gun, triple gun. Alright, and then one of his ability. I feel like that should easily be able to destroy the Moab. But his ability, or her ability, my bad, it's a woman, is really good. Yeah. Easy. Continue. Get that. Get all the valuable bananas going. I think it is pretty cool that Ninja Kiwi is still updating the game, but I'm still, I really, really want the, um, Dartling Gun Monkey. I think a lot of people do it, or do want it. I don't know why they haven't added it yet. That, that was one of my favorite towers to use, especially the ray, the, the laser gun route, it was so good. Do this, let's get, yeah, start getting the Bluntonium Reactors. After that, there we go. There's one out of two. Come on. There we go. Brown both. Armor piercing. And more armor piercing. Oops. Yeah, by the way, there. So, this person, if you haven't seen yet, 
they buff their ability buffs the other water towers in the radius when well for level right now and make it so they can see camo pop lead and have more pop and power more range and her level 10 ability is this thing right here the moab mine or the mine or whatever it makes so any moabs or anything bigger than a moab will just explode when it goes in here and does so much damage to them it's really good um let's get this over here oh yep you can see that it actually exploded already put some one up there see, you, you can see it right there in the bottom middle Exploded the uh, Moab. So look, this is a new thing. Deposited two thousand, or actually is deposited up to seven thousand dollars. So then after this round, the it'll have interest on it. Let's see how much it goes up from. Up two thousand dollars. So now it's add the money back in. Up to seven thousand, and then wait for it again, and then two thousand more dollars will come in. Really easily every round. That's how broken this new thing is. Oh, I guess not actually that time. We're giving still see a good amount of money. So I clicked it, add it again. Wait for the interest, and then I'll take it out and add it again. There it is. Okay, add that. Look at that. Look at how much money we're making. We've already made seven thousand dollars of this thing. This one's made four thousand. That's, that's made almost as much as this whole thing's life in a couple of rounds. That's it. Boom. Max. Now, I, I can easily, I can just afford the banana research facility just from the stupid ba the bank. It's how overpowered it is. It's broken. Come on. Wait for the round to be in. Or over. Wait for it to get max. There we go. Deposit, deposit. Now I can get the sub commander already. Oh yeah, by the way, the sub commander got a humongous buff in the last update. It makes so that the Lunatonium reactor, if it's in its range, does I think double damage, and the energy does double damage, and makes so that the first strike makes does double damage. I'm pretty sure it does. But I know for a fact that the um, the one after first strike, preemptive strike, does double damage for the first time a mobile pops in the screen. For every every single mobile, it does double damage forever, which is really good. It it, it can solo like ninety five. It's that good. Get one range. Look at how big his range is. This is a normal sub. When you get in the range, hold on, pop up. Yeah, I guess I can pop up. Why is this range much bigger? Oh, it's ballistic missile. Oh, that's a new buff for the ballistic missile. Makes the range much, much bigger. I forgot about that one. There we go. Let's get that ability. Or, I mean, that. Not ability. That. Yeah. Farm. There we go. That. It's just so good. Making it's made twenty two thousand dollars. This is made twenty thousand, thirty thousand, twenty two, twenty seven. It's made like almost the same amount of money, and it's been there like a quarter of the amount of time. There we go, preemptive. And watch his pop. Right, as of round 70, his pops are 2,600. Let's see what they are in like maybe 10 rounds. It'll be much more than that. By the Energizer. Get that. Time the flown. And we can pretty much just cruise for the rest of the game now, easily. Just get a bunch of these guys. Oops. 
like that. Spam these guys all over the map. And then easy one. Do a hundred. That's it. I think that's like all I need really. I can you know what? I can even sell all these farms. I'll even flood the water. There we go, that button. That button. Oh, I missed this one. Oh, so annoying, it doesn't always work. Come on. Oh my goodness. Alright. Get that one. Yeah, it hurt me this one. There we go. Goodbye, monkey farmer. Uh let's get you know what? Let's get the boats. All tier five boats. Pirate Lord. Let's get destroyer. It's hot shot. And let's get this trade empire, which is not that good. There we go. Tier one of every tier five water monkey now. And that's easy. Even if and even if we wanted to place some more stuff over here, we can. There we go. There's an Apache Dart ship. We can get Spectre. Can we nope can't put it over there? Let's get Spectre, that one, get a Mortar for no reason, get a Sniper over here, there, now just easy, easy wins, just go on through and just wait for it to finish. And that, the level, her level 19 is so good, Naval Tactics Effect all water-based towers everywhere which is crazy because the naval tactics makes their attack speed much 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 higher and they have much more pierce much more range much you can see how fast they turn right now under the buff and now you can see how fast they turn now after the buff is gone it's much faster look at that they just like shake I don't even really have to add more, I'm just adding it for no reason. The mower line down. Yeah, the, the one ticket, is it level 20 yet? Yep, yeah, it's level 20, the Mega Mine does so much more damage. It's, look at how big it is, it can, I bet it can eat a whole BFB in one hit. Probably a Zom too. All we have to do is pretty much just sit here, chill out, wait until round 100 and we get the easy win. Might as well get the big one, save up for the biggest one. They made Moab, put down strong or something. Actually, I don't even want, actually, I don't even want the main Moab. It's just going to waste, it's just going to slow everything down. So I'll just get, I guess, this with that, sure. Yeah, another Moab mine down. Look, it just literally ate the whole Moab. That's it. Just chilling out. Yeah, and I you can look that up anywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to find out the Pat Fusty glitch where it hides underground. Pretty sure. I mean, it's pretty cool that I did that. I found that out. Can't even put. There we go. Put a wizard right there if I wanted. I'm trying to get. I want to get the biggest one. Come on. Almost there. There. So much easy. It's so easy, dude, on this map. Well, I mean, it doesn't, it is easy mode also, but still. I wonder how long until someone finds another glitch that actually breaks the game. Mine doesn't really break the game, it's just like a visual glitch. I, mean, I guess it helps, it can help a little bit, but it's not game breaking like some of the other ones have been in the past. There we go. They said on the mode mine. Oh yeah, it's been about 20 rounds since we looked at the preemptive strikes damage count. 
I'm gonna say it's at mm, 200 grand. Ooh, 65. I get. Oh, I think the preemptive strike actually doesn't count as damage because. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't. That's annoying. Well, it, does, it did a lot more damage than what it says. Because I, I know it does. Because it's just insane. And you can see all the buffs it has. I don't know why it has three different, or five different buffs. I don't know what all of them do. But I know that it's really good. There we go. Choose all this random stuff that I have. Might as well get Elite Defender. It's too easy, this game. Look at this, round 95. You don't even see a single... Oh, it's because no DTs yet. But the preemptive strike, we got to handle like all the DTs. Look, they're just get... They literally just get like melted right when they come in. They come out, it looks like they're getting kind of far. It's just that they are, they have to go through the um, monkey subs range to be able to get detected because it can't see camo at the time. It, doesn't, it looks like they're getting far, but it's just couldn't because it couldn't see camo. And, but right when it got in range, just boom, gone. And then the MOA mine. I'll show you how overpowered this all is once you get to the. Um, the bad balloon or BAD balloon, whatever you want to call it. I think it's gonna get melted. Come on, hurry up and beat 98. There's like nothing here. There we go. Even the fortified DDTs just get melted. I didn't even see any fortified DDTs. So much damage it did. Look, there's the BAD, and boom, gone. That quick. Didn't even get to move. Well, that's... Wait, hold on, let's see if there's any secret achievement I got. Nope. Well, I guess it's going to be it for the episode today. Thanks for watching, and peace.